Hey YouTube, it's your girl K-Rap and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am here today with another video. Um, today's video is, you know, taking it back for the girls that's been into beauty for a while. It is going to be entitled Ode to Mac because I feel like as a lot of these new beauty brands have come on the scene, we have really forgot how Mac used to hold us girls of color down. Like, once upon a time, Mac was the only girl with the range of shades that had multiple warm and cool tones for girls of color. And so if you were probably born anytime before 2000s, you, you know, Mac was a staple in your makeup kit and still is in mine. I just realized that, you know, I've kind of let some of these new girls overshadow her. So I decided to do a look entirely of MAC Cosmetics. The only thing that I am not wearing that is MAC Cosmetics is my eyeliner and mascara. Recently, both of my MAC Cosmetic mascara and liner uh, ran dry. So I wasn't able to use those for this video. But literally every product that I am using in this video is a MAC cosmetics product so stay tuned to see how i got this look and as always afterwards we're gonna have a little tea time a little talk time um to discuss some of the products that i used and just you know wrap up how i feel about mac cosmetics <laughs> I used all of my lovely MAC products to achieve this look. And I before I talk about what I want to talk about, I have to go back to this eyeshadow. You see how much of this I use, right? It's almost empty. I can't believe I've been sleeping on her because uh, I 
mean, she just laid up there like the queen that she is. And this shade is called Hoodwinked. And if you a matte girl, you know this was a staple in your collection a while ago. And I can't believe I've been sleeping on her. Obviously, this was my everyday go-to. I still cannot believe I used this much of this pan. Um, so I want to shout out her. But I did want to go back and talk about a new product that I had never tried before, which is the Studio Fix Soft Mount Foundation Stick. I'm not a huge foundation stick girl. I bought a Bobbi Brown one a long time ago and it just was, did not work good on my skin. But if you seeing what I'm seeing, this NC50 uh, soft matte foundation stick is about to become a staple in my foundation collection because she is looking flawless and to the gods, honey. So that was a new product that I tried, but I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Um, I was really excited to do this video because like I said, when I got into makeup, literally I only owned MAC products. First of all, I don't even know where I was getting the money to get mac products because they ain't never been cheap so every eyeliner that i had you even saw i use mac brushes i've had these brushes you can see the longevity of them i've literally had some of these brushes since i was like a sophomore in college which was like 2008 so um they have lasted 12 some of these brushes are 12 years old and they are still giving me uh well money's worth but I hope you enjoyed this video. I just really felt like we've been looking over MAC a little too much lately. And I kind of wanted to do an ode to them because they're honestly the reason that I got into makeup at all MAC Cosmetics and my homegirl, Brittany. Hey, be lit. MUA. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Um, are the two reasons that I really got into makeup. And I'm just excited to have been able to do an ode to them, a video to them using all of their products. And who they got your girl looking like a beautiful Matt Queen. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this content. I've been working on trying to focus on making my videos shorter and straight to the point so that you can get in, get out, get what you need. And before I go, you know, I showed it in the video, but Ruby Woo has been in the MAC collection forever. And I mean, she will always be that girl because look at her on my, sitting on my lips, giving me everything I need. Okay, 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 okay. Wrapping the video up. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, I'm not sure why. Go ahead and subscribe to your girl. I'll be back with some new content soon. And as always, be safe and peace out.